everyone, Gia Deve, Maria here. I'm just outside the Celtic Bookshop, which is located just across from the Hunt Museum on Rootland Street. It's in the heart of Limerick City and something that you really need to check out. There's so many unique and authentic things, so let's go take a look and see what they have. Underpaid for my wife Caroline, who opened the shop in 1995. She has, um, as I said, she opened the, the shop uh, over 26 years ago, and it's uh, the shop is concentrating completely on, on Irish interest books and postcards and material mm -hmm. of any vintage, new mm -hmm. or, or out of print or whatever, and it's something of a labour of love with her. Mm -hmm. um, so all that. Time she has built up her, her, her own business, her own niche business. She supplies customers here locally and also libraries and, and, and so on. And she was very, very busy for a long time, but the, I suppose in the last decade things have been quieter because this area is due for redevelopment. Mm -hmm. So at the moment uh, things are quieter than, than they were, mm -hmm. which makes it it's a nice place to be. I can always read the books even if there aren't too many customers at different times. She would have a strong. Um, a collection of, of, of and women and women's studies, also cookery and all the and very much Limerick. Limerick, uh, even though I'm a Clareman, I'm saying it, Limerick is a fantastic history and Limerick people are very interested in that history. Maybe because of the location of Limerick City, it has been involved in historical events mm -hmm. of Irish and European importance over, over the centuries and so there's a huge amount of publications continually being printed on, on Limerick. You say that's just one out last before Christmas on the historical sites of Dune, County Limerick. Uh, then you would have um, one that's very popular is History of the Quakers in Limerick, um, 1655 to 1900, Labour of Love by a man called Hiram Wood. So you have uh, then a series that comes out every year, Limerick Stroll Down Memory Lane. I think that's now at issue 20 or 21. Every Christmas, it, it, that book is um, produced, and people, you know, it's a collection of photographs, historic photographs of the city, of what life was like, social, sporting, and so on. So, that's a very popular item. There are so many. <laughs> then you have, for instance, uh, going away from Limerick, you have books like uh, this one recently came out as well on the date of the Irish Revolution, popular book. The decision Caroline made, uh, we'll say, a number of years ago was to concentrate almost entirely on it being a physical, uh, almost could I use the, the phrase, old-fashioned bookstore. <laughs> she uh, has a lot of books here on, on the shelves that would sell very quickly online, with no doubt about that because we're constantly getting queries online for books. But um, Caroline likes the idea of the, the serendipity or the mystery of it all, that somebody, a customer comes in and finds a book <laughs> on the shelf. and. Um, they find that very rewarding. Mm. Uh, not, not too many bookshops, I think, are becoming almost, um, uh, you know, picked. That there's no, uh, there's nothing special left on the shelves because mm. of the, the impact of the internet. So I'm just sitting in the Celtic bookstore and I'm going through a few postcards. So, for example, they have Castles of Ireland postcards. So if you come in here, you have a grand selection of postcards from the 1900s and recent postcards as well. They have a variety of selection of books as well. For example, we have this book here, For the Love of Being Irish. So if you want to find out more about Irish culture and heritage, why not pop in here and find out more about Ireland? You absolutely need to come in and check out the Celtic Bookshop for yourself. But note that it's open from half 12 to half 3 on a Saturday. Come on in and talk to Pat and Caroline for yourself. They'd only be delighted to talk to you about Limerick, Ireland, and all things about the culture in Ireland. 
and to improve your English. Slang will fall.